If you just got yourself a brand new HD A7000 soundbar and you want to know a little bit more about how to get it set up, congratulations, first of all, on a great purchase. But even if you're just here to check out what is this setup process, how easy is it or how difficult is it? Well, the good news is it is very simple and I'm going to walk you through it today. I'm Derek from Sony and this is a walkthrough of the setup of the HD A7000. And of course, you need to start with the unboxing and inside the box, you're going to find everything you need to get set up with the soundbar, including, of course, the all important information packet and manual wall mount brackets, remote, power cable, acoustic center sync cable, HDMI cable, and soundbar itself, of course. Now this is where you do have a decision to make if you want to wall mount it, or if you just want to set it on a table or a TV stand. If you are going to wall mount it, make sure you use the included wall mount brackets, follow the instructions, and use the wall mount template that's included. Next thing we're going to do is get it connected to your TV. Using the included HDMI cable, plug one end into the A7000's HDMI port labeled as HDMI out, EARC slash ARC. The other end of the cable will be plugged into your TV's HDMI port that is also labeled as ARC or EARC. Now if you do have a Sony TV that does support acoustic center sync, which would be the X95J, A80J, A90J, or the Z9J, you can also use the acoustic center sync cable and you're going to plug it into the S center speaker in on the TV and S center speaker out of the soundbar. If you are going to be using the optional rear speakers or one of the optional subwoofers, now's the time to get those unboxed and start their setup process because once we power this on, it'll take it to the next step. Now, if you didn't already do so, go ahead and plug the AC cable into the back of the soundbar and then of course into an outlet. Power on your TV and then turn on the soundbar, either with the remote or with the touch controls on the top. Then go ahead and hit the input on your TV and select HDMI 3 in the case of a Sony or whichever port the HDMI ARC port is on your TV. From here, the soundbar is gonna say hello, letting you know that it's doing its initial configurations. Uh, it's also going to be searching the room to see if you have one of the optional subwoofers or the rear speakers. Then we'll go to the easy setup. Once you get to this screen, go ahead and select OK for the easy setup because we want this to be super easy for you. Go ahead and select your language. And at this point, it's going to kind of read the wireless situation in your home to make sure that you get the optimal connection with any additional speakers that you have and also with it and the network. Once it's optimized for your network configuration and wireless situation, it's going to give you the option that you can stop the process now and go ahead and dive into the audio. But I would definitely recommend you stick around just to make sure that you can take full advantage of the capabilities of the A7000, especially with sound field optimization and making sure you get connected to your network. And at this stage, it's going to check to see if you can get all of your additional speakers configured if you do in fact have the rear speakers or one of the subwoofers. If not, go ahead and select next. And at this point, it's gonna prompt for you to connect to a network. Not only do you get to take advantage of a lot of the music streaming capabilities, but also to make sure that the soundbar is going to stay up to date and perform exactly how you intend it to do. So once you search for your network, choose your network and go ahead and enter your password and wait for it to connect to your network. You also have the option of actually using a compatible iOS device for a little bit of a faster setup for your network connection. Since the soundbar is capable of working with a lot of voice assistant features, uh, you do have a privacy policy that you'll want to take a look through and choose to either agree or disagree. In this case, I'm going to agree. You'll also have the option to enable the Chromecast capability. So if you want to cast some music directly from a mobile device to the soundbar wirelessly, you'll have the option to do that. You can always set this up later if you wish. Now we get to one of the most interesting parts of the setup of the A7000, and that's the sound field optimization. The soundbar is going to emit a whole bunch of crazy sounds into your room, which is gonna help the soundbar read the acoustics of your specific space to give you the most immersive and impressive sound that it can for your specific space. Now, while it does this test, number one, it might be a little bit loud. Make sure you're not in front of the soundbar or any of the other speakers that you may have connected to the system, and make sure you don't create any additional loud noises while you're doing the test. Make sure you remember though that you can always rerun this if it doesn't seem quite right or if you ever move the soundbar or move things within the room that might change the acoustics. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started now. So that's it for the basic setup of the A7000, but there are a couple other things that you can take advantage of as well. If you do have a Sony TV, you can configure your Sony TV remote to control the soundbar even more effectively. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. 
If you have a Sony Bravia XR model TV, you can actually control a lot of the soundbar settings directly through your TV remote with the quick settings button here. Let me show you a couple of options that you can do with that. So in order to configure your remote to control your soundbar, simply navigate to your home menu and in the upper right, you're gonna go to settings. From here, channels and inputs. Navigate down to external inputs and external device setup. Here you'll see the HD A7000 marked and we're gonna select setup. Go ahead and follow through all of the prompts as you need to, and that's it. Once it says it's configured, go ahead and hit finish. Once it's finished, now your remote will actually turn on the soundbar along with the TV and control the volume. So let's quickly go over some of the settings that you can modify either on the soundbar remote or if you have a Bravia XR TV through the quick settings. So you'll have the option to modify your subwoofer or your rear volume if you have them connected. Immersive AE is immersive audio enhancement. So even if you're not watching content that is surround or Dolby Atmos or DTS-X, this will allow you to get a much more room filling and immersive sound. Voice mode, if you have issues hearing some of the voices, great option to quickly turn on. It'll really draw out the vocals of your content to make it easier to hear what's going on in the story. Night mode will allow you to get better quality audio at a lower volume so you don't disturb the family. And of course you can modify the sound mode as you like to get a better sound. You can leave it on auto if you wish just to allow the soundbar to determine what's best for your type of content. So I hope this video helps you get set up with the HD A7000 so you can enjoy sound like you never have before in your specific space. If you do have any other additional questions, maybe you wanna add one of the subs, you're not sure which one. Maybe you wanna add the rears, not sure if it's gonna fit your space. And maybe you haven't even bought the soundbar yet and you have some additional questions. There's a link in the description below to talk to a Sony expert to help you make the right decision that's best for you and your space. There's also a video chat option available to really make sure we're on the same page as we make those recommendations. I've been Derek from Sony. Thanks for watching.